Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I got a new single board computer I want to do an unboxing on and we're also going to run a couple benchmarks using Android. This is the Pine 64. I actually got the one gigabyte version to keep right in with the price of the Raspberry Pi 3. This was $19 and I also ordered the $9 Bluetooth Wi-Fi add-on. So this little board has potential. Looking at the specs, I can tell you right now we're not going to be able to run Dreamcast and PSP very smoothly on this board. This has a quad-core 64-bit, 1.2 gigahertz, A53 CPU, a dual-core Mali 400 MP2 GPU. You can get them from 512 megabytes of RAM up to 2 gigabytes. I have the 1 gigabyte version here. Micro SD card slot, two USB 2.0 ports, Integrated 10 by 100 by 1000 Ethernet, HDMI 1.4, 3.5mm audio jack, and the module I have is a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. It does Wi-Fi, B, G, and N. It also does Bluetooth 2.1, 3.0, and 4.0. Let's go ahead and get the Pine 64 out of the box. So here is the Pine 64 one gigabyte model. I'm going to go ahead and throw this Bluetooth Wi-Fi adapter on the board itself. So we got a little sticky pad here. And there we are. That's it. It's installed, ready to go. We have the antenna for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Now the board is pretty big compared to, let's say, the Raspberry Pi 2. Raspberry Pi 3 is the same size as this, and as you can see, it's a giant single board computer. The community has put out a ton of operating systems for this board itself, and I want to test out a few of them, but for this video I'm probably going to test out Android 7.1. We have tons of GPIO headers, SD card slot, 3.5 millimeter audio jack out, our Wi-Fi Bluetooth adapter that I just installed, two USB 2.0 ports, battery, RTC battery connection if you want to keep a RTC battery on it, CSI connector, TP connector, and this will be our power in. It uses a micro USB just like the Pi. On the back side here, nothing much at all. So what I'm going to do is install Android 7.1 onto an SD card. We're going to boot this up, run a few benchmarks. They do have a bunch of operating systems available, like I said. They have Android TV 6.0, 7.1, regular Android 5.1, 6.0, 7.0. Linux, Debian, Diet Pi, all kinds of stuff for this board, but I wanted to test out Android 7.1. So we're going to move over there. I'm going to run a few benchmarks and we'll just see how it performs. I'll be making some more videos on this later on, guys. All right, guys, so I installed Android 6.0. I did try to install 7.1, but it ran horrible. I couldn't get any of the apps to launch. Google kept crashing on me. So I had to go down a version to Android Marshmallow 6.0. This is a community build. This is not the build by the Pine64 team. They do offer an Android Lollipop build. But I went with Marshmallow because a lot of you guys are going to want to go with the latest version of Android. Even though this is Android 6.0, it's newer than Lollipop. And to tell you the truth, it runs like crap. This is a very low powered single board computer. We have a Mali MP2 GPU which is a very low-end GPU, so graphics acceleration is horrible. Let's get right into it, and 2.2. We scored a 25,799. It's a pretty low score. But like I said, very low power board, and I tried to keep this on par with the price of the Raspberry Pi 3. This is the one gigabyte model, it was $19, and I also ordered the Bluetooth slash Wi-Fi module, which put us right at $29.99 plus shipping. 
So something I should have mentioned, all these tests were run with a fan and a heat sink, so we're not thermal throttling here. I also ran a 3D Mark. Now the GPU does not support OpenGL 3.1 or 3.0, so we had to run Ice Storm Extreme. I ran both of these two times, so just to give you an idea here. We scored a 1688. Let's check the best devices. Ice Storm Extreme, as you can see, maxed out. So here's some devices that actually scored, not maxed out, as you can see. Most of the stuff does max this version out. Apple iPad Mini 3, 10,408. And I'm going to go one more down just to show you guys how low this score really is. So if you're wanting to get the Pine 64, I cannot recommend it for Android, and I have yet to test a Linux build on it. I will be doing more tests on this board, but for now, let's go back, and I will show you some gameplay here, if we can get it to go back. I'm really not sure if the Pine 64 build of Lollipop is going to run any better than this right here. We're just not working with a lot of power. Minecraft Pocket Edition, I could not get the launch, but let's try it again. So I was able to get this far, and it crashed. Asphalt Extreme takes a little while to load, but we were able to get into some gameplay. And I'm using a Bluetooth Razer Serval game controller to play this. Now I'm not sure if it's going to show up too well in the game capture, what you guys are watching right now, but for me, it is very laggy. I have um, lots and lots of lag here. It is almost unplayable. Especially when you hit the nitrous. And unfortunately right now in Asphalt Extreme there is no option to turn the graphics down. Which could help quite a bit. I could not get Asphalt Airborne to launch. Oh, there was nothing I could do there. I could, couldn't even turn. In my opinion, this is totally unplayable. I would not enjoy playing this at all. So my initial impressions of the board, this board does not handle Android very well at all. I don't think it's going to handle Android 5.1 any better than it just handled Android Marshmallow. It's very low powered. This could be a good board for a Linux distribution like Debian or maybe Ubuntu Mate, something like that. I'll be getting into it and testing it out, but for now I cannot recommend the Pine64 one gigabyte and I don't think the two gigabyte is gonna be any better than this within Android. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe. And like always, thanks for watching.